Over the next several videos, I'm going to show you how to create a top-down game with UDK. As you might have already noticed, UDK is set up by default to make it very easy to create a first-person shooter type of game. Now, you can create any kind of game with UDK that you can imagine. What we're going to do, though, is show you how you can use the tools already included with UDK, along with a few assets we've put together for you, and script up a top-down variant where the camera is going to be placed above the player and follow them around. It's also not going to be a shooter. The player's job is to solve puzzles, avoid traps, and stay away from baddies that are trying to kill them. Now I'm going to go ahead and give a quick demonstration. Now this is the very map that is set up in the videos. This intro you're watching was actually recorded after all of the uh, instructional videos were put together. So this is the end result. So let's jump into our map. And we have a little timer that's ticking down as we go. Now, because I'm sure you don't want to watch me fail at this game over and over, and this game actually is pretty difficult, I'm going to switch on God Mode, just for demonstration purposes. Not because I have to. And you'll see we have a block that we can slide out of the way. We've got little panels in the floor that keep popping up, and if they touch us when they're moving, we get hurt by them. So we've got to sneak past those as they randomly pop up and down. We have patrolling robots. If they see us, they will shoot at us. So we have to watch out for that. We have keys. You just saw me pick one of them up. Now let me run over here. And here's another key. It's just circling around. We'll go ahead and pick that up. Now you see we've got a heads-up display. It says I've collected two keys. I'm going to dodge this guy with a rocket launcher. Come down here. And we have these smashing blocks. These will kill me in one touch if I let them. So I've got to jump across both sets. And that would have killed me, but that's what God Mode is for. Now check this out. Here's our goal, but if I touch it, I get a warning that says we do not yet have all the keys. Now I'm running a little low on time here, so let me see if I can fly through this. We've got one more key to pick up. So I'll run over here. Let's get the robots. Get past the guy with the rocket launcher. 30 seconds left. We have 30 seconds. We have a countdown. Let me get across. Ugh, got smashed again. And now, won the match. we win. And we get a fade out. So that is a quick look at the game that we're going to show you how to set up. So all kinds of, th uh, all kinds of lessons coming up. Um, we're going to talk about how to bring up UIs that allow you to control objects like this green block here. Now I will mention, the block that we actually put in place can only be moved in one direction and only moved once. But we're going to show you how to design it in such a way where the architecture is open-ended. And if you wanted to have multiple blocks, it would be very easy to implement. We're going to show you how to set up these traps in the floor, which keep randomly popping up. We're going to show you how to add in AI bots and control their behavior so that they look for the player. If they see the player, they're actually going to shoot. As soon as they lose the player, as soon as there's an obstruction in their way, they will stop firing. We're going to have a boss character who's... Uh, shooting rockets at you. We have key pickups that are required in order to uh, finish the game. And then, of course, we're going to show you how to set up these block crushers over here and then make it to the end goal. The focus of the videos is primarily on just the in-level in setup. All of the assets that you're going to use have already been set up beforehand. Now, the reason for that is that these are considered to be more advanced videos, we're assuming that you've watched all the other videos up to this point over things like materials, UI scenes, material instance constants, etc. and so forth. Now, what I'm going to do in the very next video is introduce you to the package that we're going to use that contains all of the assets you'll see as we move forward and give you a quick rundown on what it is you're looking at so at least you'll see the assets that we're going to be working with. So for now, let's go ahead and move forward. If you don't want to see the individual assets, you can skip the next video and jump right into uh, the initial setup for the level itself. Whichever way you go is totally cool. And uh, let's get started putting together our top-down game.